any idea what you really are? In The Amazing Spider-Man, your favorite web-slinging teenager is swinging back into movie action once again. But this isn't exactly the Peter Parker we knew from the last batch of Spidey flicks. This Peter is a little less nerdy, a bit more rebellious, and is crushing on pretty schoolmate Gwen Stacy. Mary Jane? Nowhere to be found in this go-around. Also, in this rendition, Peter's scientist dad plays a role. You're gonna stay with your aunt and uncle for a little while. You'll be safe here. Peter finds a secret stash of his father's research papers, and it turns out that before his demise, dear old dad had been studying all things arachnid. This leads Don't Pete to Oscorp me. Labs, a meeting with his father's former co-worker, Dr. Connors. Dr. Connors, I'm Richard Parker's son. And of course, an inevitable date with a certain radioactive spider. Before you can say friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, Peter's sporting superpowers and facing off with a brand new nemesis, a genetically altered rampager called the Lizard. This Spidey reboot treads a fine comic book line between keeping hardcore fans happy and injecting a new dose of fresh into the story. And on the positive side, there's plenty of heroic choices and superhero fun to be had. But parents should also pay attention to that tingling spider sense that tells them there's also a lot of violence, lies, a little sensuality and broken promises sticking to this cinematic web. So I'll be giving The Amazing Spider-Man three spandex suits out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review on this film or reviews of anything else playing at your local theater, come visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Cheryl Wilhelmy for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.